Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the SwitchBot Meter Pro, an advanced 5-in-1 thermohygrometer, or to put it more simply, a display that shows you the temperature and humidity. But as this is a 5-in-1, it also shows you the temperature and humidity at a remote location, such as a SwitchBot Hub 2 or a SwitchBot external sensor, along with the weather forecast, the date, time, and even the comfort level. What I love about this device is that it not only provides data for the smart home enthusiast to automate with, but also provides a stylish display of information that your partner will appreciate. So let's turn up the temperature and see if this display can deliver as promised. As with all SwitchBot devices, the Meter Pro is packed very well and comes with everything you need to get up and running straight out of the box. You get the unit itself which is made of excellent quality injection molded hard ABS plastic and gives you a feeling of quality and good engineering. The unit is 9.1 cm wide, 8.7 cm tall and 22 mm thick. The unit has a high contrast LCD display that shows various readings. We'll run through these in detail later. On top of the unit is a single button which is used for the pairing process but has a primary purpose of switching the unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit. To the left and right of the unit are vents, which I assume are used to allow for accurate readings from the electronics, although no mention of not covering these is made in the documentation. To the rear of the unit is a kickstand that allows for easy desk mounting, and above this is a keyhole mounting slot for wall mounting. Below the kickstand is a battery compartment with two included quality alkaline AA batteries, that will last for up to 12 months. These come with a battery isolation tab so you know you're getting a full charge straight out of the box. Then you get the usual manual warranty card and social media card. Now let's look at the key features of the SwitchBot Meter Pro. First off, let's hit the obvious one. The 9.1 centimeter display is gorgeous, super high contrast, and although not backlit, gives you a clear view of information even in low light conditions. The display can show you the temperature and humidity for the location of the unit, but can also show you a secondary temperature and humidity from another location, be it another SwitchBot temperature and humidity sensor or a Hub 2. You can even denote if this is an inside or an outside measurement. Then you get the time and the date, along with the weather forecast shown as a graphic, although this does need a Hub 2 connected to your account to provide this information. You even get a comfort indicator showing dry, comfortable or wet. That changes according to the temperature and humidity of the unit. All this information is captured and sent back to the app so that you can trigger automations, set alerts or just analyze the data on screen or via an export of the data. Better still, pair the Meter Pro with either the Hub Mini or the Hub 2 and you get Matter support, which is fully compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit and hence into Home Assistant. As with all SwitchBot products, the setup is super simple. Make sure you have the SwitchBot app downloaded and that you have logged into your account. I'll be adding the Meter Pro to my SwitchBot environment that has a Hub 2 connected. This is so I can demonstrate the more advanced features, but the same pairing process applies if you do not have a SwitchBot hub attached. Before starting the pairing process, make sure that you have removed the battery isolation tab from the battery compartment and that you can see readings on the display. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Press add device. The SwitchBot app will bring up a list of devices that it finds locally. This list does not only show devices that are new, but those have been paired before that are close by. Select Meter Pro. Press the button at the top of the Meter Pro for two seconds or until you see the Bluetooth icon on the display. Press Connect Device. In my case, the firmware for the device needs to be upgraded. Press Upgrade and wait for the upgrade to complete. Give your device a name and optionally assign a room. Press Done. Now press Next. The Meter Pro will be added. Press OK. Your device is now connected and working, however we need to configure it. Scroll down and select the Meter Pro. If you have a compatible hub, then an information message will be shown that you may wish to configure the Meter Pro to display the current local weather for the next 12 hours. Select the information message. Press Set Up Now. Press Set Specific Location. Search for and select your home location. 
your weather will now be shown for your location. If attached to a SwitchBot hub, then an attention message will be displayed, advising you that for best experience, it's recommended that you store your data in the cloud. Select as appropriate. Now let's look at some additional settings. Press the cog in the top right hand corner. First, we have the ability to change the name of the device, room location and home. In panel display, we can set the time for 24 hours or 12 hour clock. In temperature and humidity sources, we can select the source for the data for the main, which is the larger top display and the secondary, which is the smaller bottom display. Either main or secondary data can be sourced from the unit, another meter pro, a hub such as the hub two, another SwitchBot temperature humidity sensor, or from the weather forecast if available. You can also set the reporting frequency to 5, 10 or 30 minutes. You can even set the icon to denote if the reading is not indoor or outdoor. Moving on to alerts, you can select if you want an audio or a visual and audio alert. The audio is simply a beeping noise and the visual is the value that goes outside of the range will flash. These can be set up for inside or outside of ranges for temperature, humidity, absolute humidity, dew point or VPD. Then there is a section for calibration. Now the Sensirion sensor is very accurate out the box with a reported accuracy of 0.2 degrees Celsius or 2% humidity. But it's great that SwitchBot give you the option to recalibrate if needed. Below this is the comfort level settings. SwitchBot set this to what would be considered as normal comfortable for temperature and humidity. But here you can fine tune to your personal likings. The remainder of the settings are for instructions for integration with external ecosystems, the ability for the unit to be used with the SwitchBot NFC tokens, firmware and battery and the Bluetooth MAC address, which you should never need to access. The main purpose of the unit is to allow you to view live information on the large crisp display. However, a secondary feature of the Meter Pro is that it captures a significant amount of information and transfers this back to the app that you can view, analyze and export. Inside of the app, you get the latest temperature and humidity readings, along with the absolute humidity, dew point, vapor pressure deficit readings. For those that don't know what these are, like me, check out the caption text. These figures are updated every four seconds, so you get the latest and greatest figures. Under the top card, you get charts that you can set by hours, days, weeks, months, or even by years, with the option of a user-definable range if required. These charts are updated every minute. You get a permanent chart displayed for temperature and relative humidity and optional charts that can be toggled on for absolute humidity, dew point and vapor pressure deficit, all of which that can be scrolled to view the data. Then you can import more data or export the data or clear the data. That's some comprehensive reporting considering this is just an app to control the displays. The Meter Pro can be integrated with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, IFTTT, Apple HomeKit, SmartThings and best of all with Matter, which means we can integrate with Home Assistant. I'll assume that you have already integrated your SwitchBot Hub 2 with your Home Assistant. But if not, let me know in the comments and I'll walk you through this simple process. To make your Meter Pro data appear in Home Assistant, open the SwitchBot app. Select your hub, in my case, Hub 2. Select the cog in the top right hand corner. Select Matter Setup. Select Secondary Devices. Press the blue plus icon next to your Meter Pro display. Now open up Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Search for and select Matter. Now select Devices. Here you can see the Meter Pro 2 temperature and humidity. Selecting the temperature shows the temperature that is shown on the display. And likewise for the humidity. We can now display the temperature and humidity on a dashboard. So what do I think of the SwitchBot Meter Pro? Well, it's super well built, something that we've come to expect from SwitchBot. It's a turnkey solution as it comes with everything you need straight out of the box. The accuracy is already very high at 0.2 degrees Celsius and 2% humidity from the Sensirion chipset. And I validated this against several other similar devices and even went through the calibration process, just confirming its accuracy straight out of the box. So for me and 70% of the rest of you, you'll be purchasing this for the great display and integration into the SwitchBot ecosystem. 
It's simple to set up, looks great, and will be a big winner for the partner approval factor. For the other 30%, you'll be looking to take advantage of the matter integration and the wealth of information that will now be made available to you from within Home Assistant. Now, this is not the cheapest temperature and humidity sensor on the market by far. $29.99 US is on the high side, but you need to factor in the quality of the sensor, super accurate, battery powered with a beautiful display that's going to provide you with accurate data and a happy partner then I think you'll agree it's a bargain. If you want to pick one up with a further 10% off by using the discount code, then check out the link in the description. One last thing to consider, next week we'll be reviewing the SwitchBot Meter Pro with integrated CO2 monitor. Another amazing device and you could argue that you should hold off your purchase for that device, which is true, but that's $69.99 US, so more than twice the price. So is it worth it? find out next week. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like. And if you want to see similar material, then subscribe. And if you want early access plus other perks or want to support the channel, then maybe become a channel member. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.